there's a lot of neat things that you can do with images and pages. Um, so if I have an image placed in my pages book here, and if I click on the image, I can come over to my format menu, and if I have style selected, there's some different things that I can do with my image. One of those things is that I can create a border around it. So I can create a typical line border, and there's different types of lines that I can place around it. So these are kind of neat. Um, one of the borders that I sort of like is this picture frame border. And you can actually change the thickness of that picture frame with this little, little slider here. So that's kind of a neat effect. But one of the really neat things, if you're creating a book that your students are going to fill in as sort of an interactive book, is you can actually set this image as a, what's called a media placeholder. And that will make it so that this image is something that your students can replace with another image. So I have to have the image selected, and I know that it's selected because it has these dots around it. And I'm going to come up here to, <clears throat> I'm going to select the format menu. I'm going to come down here to advanced. And next to advanced, there's an option to define as media placeholder. I'm going to click on define as media placeholder. And this little picture appears in the bottom right hand corner. And that's how I know that this image is selected as a media placeholder. And when a student then comes in to work with this book, if this is a workbook for my students, if they click on this image, if they click on this media placeholder, they have the option then to replace this image with anything else. So let's take a look at how students would go ahead and replace this image with one of the images that they have selected on their own. So if I have over here on my desktop, if, an, if I'm a student and I have selected an image that I want to replace this, with this one, they as a student can actually just grab that image and drag it right here into the book and watch what happens. It will just replace what's there. And if they want to resize it, they can double click on it, they can drag it smaller or larger, and it will just resize to the size of that square that I've selected for them.